What's up guys? Justin here with the RealTimeEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the snapping options in Unreal Engine to quickly place objects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're going to start by talking about the different grid and rotational snapping options that you can use in order to make objects snap. Stick around till the end because we're going to talk about a way to quickly change the pivot point to a vertex and then use the vertices to kind of lock together inside of Unreal Engine. So first off though, let's talk about some of the snapping options that are over here inside of your viewport. So the first thing we want to talk about is the grid snapping right here. So what the grid snapping is going to do is that's going to allow you to generate a grid inside of Unreal Engine and then set this so that this snaps to the grid. And you can't really see it right here. So let's go ahead and let's click on this drop down right here and let's set this to something like 100. So notice how when I set that to 100, I get a grid in here that I can now see inside of Unreal Engine. And so notice how now when I click and drag this, this is moving in kind of like more clunky implements or uh, increments and it feels clunky. It's not actually clunky, but what it's doing is it's actually moving in increments of 100. So what we've done is we've set this um, so that this is going to snap to certain distances. And so what we can do with this is we could set this to something like 50 as well. Notice how we're gonna get more precision in here because the grid that this is snapping to is going to be smaller. By the way, if this isn't working, just click on this button right here in order to enable this. So where this is really valuable is you can use this in order to set um, how objects move so that they just kind of like automatically snap together. So let's say for example, that we were to take this object and I'm gonna hold the Alt key and click and drag right here. So we're going to create a copy. So notice how if I move this around, because these are both on the same grid snap settings like this, notice how these objects are going to snap together, right? Because these are only moving on that increment, where if I was to set this on something like one, and then I was to move this around, like notice how you don't really get a snap in there because you have so much control over the movement that it's not going to necessarily, unless you place this right on the right location, it's not necessarily going to put these together without any kind of gap. So a lot of the time what we're going to do is we're just gonna use that same grid for multiple different uh, objects, right? So if I click and drag this like this, notice how those are going to um, more easily kind of snap together. You could do the same thing with walls. So let's say I had a wall right here that I dragged into my scene. And then I was to make a copy of that Again, notice how because you're on the same grid snapping settings, it's really easy to um, set these so that they kind of butt up against each other. Um, one thing that I find helpful if I am doing something like this wall, for example, with multiple parts and pieces. So um, let's go ahead and let's use some 400 by 400s instead. But let's say I was to drag a 400 by, let's say I was to drag a 400 by 400 wall piece in here, and then another 400 by 400 wall piece right here. And so notice how I brought these both in here and they're both snapping to that grid. Well, what that means is that means that I can quickly put these together. A lot of the time what I like to do if I'm doing something linear is just to jump into a top view like this. Then I can hold the Alt key and because the snapping is set up with the proper distances like this, that means I can really easily add different wall pieces in here that are going to align. So going to your top down view is gonna give you a good view of what these look like from an alignment perspective. And so real quick, let's take a quick look at some of the other grid snap values. So I'm gonna go back into my perspective right here. So we've talked a little bit about the grid snap value like this, but let's take a look at the rotational grid snap. So let's say we brought in an object and we'll just use one of the built-in props. So let's go ahead and let's use the, we'll use this chair right here. So right now, if I was to toggle this off, and then I was to put this in rotational mode, right? I'm gonna turn grid snapping off for a second. But let's say I was to tap the E key and put this in rotational mode. Notice how I can rotate this to whatever number that I want. Like I really have basically 100% control over the direction that these are facing. Um, and that can be good, but sometimes you don't want that much control. Sometimes you wanna limit this so these are only snapping to a certain number of degrees. And so what you can do is you can click on this button right here in order to set that and notice how you can set the number of degrees that are in here like this. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you control over that rotation. So now if I click and drag, notice how this is only going to rotate to increments of 45 degrees right here. So you can also use that for divisions of 360, 
So if I was to set this on um, 5.625, for example, then it's going to snap to the 5.625 values. And so sometimes what people will use that for is you can hold the Alt key, and that's gonna allow you to create copies in here of objects. And so really that's only going to work if you set your object pivot point off of your object, right? So if I go back into uh, move mode, and so let's say I hold the Alt key and the middle mouse button and drag this off. And so one thing I wanna make sure that I do is I wanna make sure that I right click on this and I set this as my pivot offset um, so that this is kind of a permanent movement. Otherwise this pivot offset would just move back to this object. But if I was to tap the E key and let's go ahead and let's set this to like 22.5. But if I was to hold the Alt key, what that would do is that would create copies at um, increments of 22.5 from the location I have selected, right? So what you can do is you can use this in order to create these like rotational, you can do this, you can use this in order to create these like look, rotational arrays inside of Unreal Engine. So you can use that snapping in order to do some kind of interesting things. Um, there is also a scale snapping, which is just gonna do the same thing, right? So when I scale an object, so if I tap the R key, um, if I have that selected, what that's gonna do is that's going to set that on different increments, right? Increments of 0.25 in this case. Um, so that's kind of those options, but there's some more important things that you need to know that are gonna make your life easier in Unreal Engine. So let's say that we were to bring in this couch object right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my rotational snapping and my grid snapping, all of that. And I'm just going to move this object so that it's not really on the ground right now. So what you could do with none of the snapping on is you could try to like manually align this with the ground. Like that's definitely an option, but it's a little bit time consuming. However, there is an option in here. If you click this little drop down right here, notice how there's an option for surface snapping. What surface snapping is gonna do is it's gonna take your actor and it's gonna snap it to any surface or it's gonna snap it to a surface that you drag over. So if I turn on surface snapping, first off, notice that if I drag this down, this isn't going to snap to my surface if I drag any of these arrows. What it's gonna do is it's gonna to snap to a surface if you click and drag the sphere right here. So notice how as soon as I do that, that is snapping to any surface that you put it over. And so what that means is that means that you can take objects that are like up in the air or whatever, and you can just really quickly snap them to surfaces inside of Unreal Engine. This is a really powerful option. Now do note that at the bottom, there's an option for surface offset. And so let's say I was to set my surface offset to 20 right here. And then let's kind of zoom in and take a look at this. What we've done is we've told this when you do a surface snap, you need to offset this up by 20 centimeters. So if there's ever something that like isn't aligning with your ground, you can adjust this value um, in order to get it to align to the ground inside of Unreal Engine. So that just gives you a little bit more control over your surface and the offset. And then one other thing to note is you've also got this option in here for rotate to surface normal. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to take your object and it's going to adjust the rotation so that it aligns with your surface. So let's say for example, that I was to have this object kind of like rotated, right, like this. And then I was to try to do the surface snapping. Well, if I don't have rotate to surface normal selected, it's going to snap this, but the object isn't actually going to align with the surface, right? So that's a little bit of a problem. However, if I was to enable the option for rotate to surface normal, that is gonna automatically rotate your object so that it aligns with the surface. So that can be a massive time saver if you have a bunch of objects that have a rotation applied to them and you need to get them to align to a surface really quickly. And so one thing that can be really helpful is a lot of the time you actually want the geometry of an object to snap to the geometry of another object right? And um, so far, nothing that we've done really does that. It just works with a grid. However, there is a tool in here where if you hold the V key on your keyboard and then click and drag, notice how I'm getting these little um, blue points when I click and drag, right? And so when I do that, what that's doing is that's actually snapping the vertices to different points inside of my scene. So if I hold the V key, like this, notice how this is snapping to the different vertices of the geometry on an object right here. So it's not using the grid, it's actually using the object itself. So this can be a massive time saver. However, one thing you might notice is if you look at this wall, right? If I hold the V key right now and I move this, 
If I hold the V key right now and I move this, notice how it's going to place my wall over the edge. The reason it's placing my wall over the edge is because my object pivot point isn't actually set to a vertex. It's set to this central point. However, if you hold the Alt V key and then you click and drag your middle mouse button, notice how I can actually use this to move my object pivot point to vertices. So I can use this in order to set this corner vertex right here. Then if I hold the V key and drag this, I can use it in order to quickly snap to this vertex right here. And so let's say that I was to hold the Alt key and click and drag right here, and then I was to hold the V key and click and drag this back, notice how this is going to give me these little blue points in here that I can use for vertex snapping. So I can use this in order to quickly create copies in here and then hold the V key in order to align them. So I like this better than the grid because it means I don't have to mess with like math and settings and everything like that. I can literally just use this in order to create the copies that I need. And so let's say for example that I wanted to create a copy like over here, for example. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees. So probably want to go ahead and turn my vertex or my rotational snapping to at least like 10 degrees or something like that. And so what I can do is I can just hold an Alt V middle mouse button in order to set this to this point. And then I could hold V and I can just drag this in order to get this to, uh, to inference to this corner point right here. So it's just a quick way to use snapping in order to align objects inside of Unreal Engine. So if you have any questions about anything that we talked about, leave a comment down below. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.